Amitabh. So these are unusual times that we're in. So this isn't just about kind of um, reorganizing the deck chairs on a boat that possibly might hit an iceberg. I think the iceberg has been hit, people, and we need to reorganize ourselves. We've all been talking about shifting the power, which essentially means uh, democratizing power. What we are seeing is centralization of power in the hands of populist demagogues, which are pretty much using the means of democracy to subvert democracy. And this is really further excluding, discriminating, and marginalizing the poor and the disadvantaged communities. I, I think all the traditional ways of challenging power have not worked. We need to find new ways, new ways which are built around solidarity, which are built around building power brick by brick from bottom to top. For me, shifting power is not a theoretical exercise. It is about my life. It's about my dignity. It's about my leadership abilities being questioned constantly. It's about who I am, the core of who I am. And when we talk about solidarity, the kind of solidarity that I want from you is where I'm not in the room, you need to be the one standing up for us. And when I am in the room, you need to be even more vocal than me. That's what real solidarity is. And that's what we don't have. Like this, it's very rare that we have this kind of space to think about these very difficult questions and see how we can build the systems that we need to address them. I think there's been some progress. The, the fact that the people in this room are largely people who are interested in this conversation and trying to see how to change in the way they work, first as individuals and maybe as organizations. I think that is already a sign that things have progressed. It's just that the change is big and uh, maybe we can't see the change as yet. We are on a talking mode a lot. But all problems begin by a reflection about what is wrong and what needs to change. We had a discussion about the fact that as long as the system is based on money, the incentives are very difficult to shift. And that in fact we need to flip that and start thinking about how do we share knowledge, language, skills, what's the kind of language we use, um, and what is the process of healing that we need to go through. We also talked about the fact that there needs to be much more recognition of the pre-existing structures in civil society um, which are operational and effective before aid agencies and other NGOs um, come into the to that sphere. Uh, um, there was also the conversation around how civil society is changing. So there are a lot more movements that are moving in very different ways, um, deinstitutionalized, um, coming from people, coming from young people. Um, and actually, a lot of funders are trying to be responsive to what that looks like by creating new systems that are reacting to the way those movements come across. And then Unfortunately, when you have the kind of resistance that you're seeing now, power fights back. So what you see is that the entrenched patriarchal power systems of money and decision making do fight back and push back and try to assert themselves. But I look at it much more from a trajectory perspective and I think we're headed in the right direction. However much, it, however dark the world might seem and however much we might despair, that actually means that there's more good things going on, um, not just because the contrast between the, the dark and the light, um, the despair and the hope, it's because human beings have this kind of incredible ability that in the most adverse conditions, they're always at their best.